In this video, we're going to talk about how to get the film leader, that guy, back out of the roll if you've accidentally rewound it too far. What's up, guys? So in this video, I want to go over a few different ways that we can get the film leader back out of the can if it's been sucked in too far. And how we're going to do that is with using either tape, a tool, or your tongue. So let's go ahead and accidentally rewind this too far. There we go. Whoops. So the first method is with using a, a film picker or a film retriever. They have a bunch of different names and they come in a bunch of different flavors and colors, but they all do the same basic thing. The way they're set up is there's a, a, a rigid shoulder on the back and then you have a flexible back tongue and then a movable front tongue. So first we're going to take the, the back flexible tongue and we're going to push it in where the film is. And this back rigid area needs to go over top. Both of these back and front tongue will need to go inside the roll. So like that. At this point you're going to want to put it up to your ear because we're going to listen for a uh, a click. You'll hear when we sp we're going to spin the roll, you'll hear it kind of drag, drag, and then it'll click. And when it clicks, you want to just hold the film in that position. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Now we're going to push the top tongue forward, and then we're going to pull out slowly. And we have our leader. It's that simple. Some people have uh, written online how hard these things are to use. Uh, that literally took me five seconds and one shot. It, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, like every single time, they, they come out. So that's option number one, okay? Option number two is uh, you'll need sticky tape and a extra little piece of negative here. So we'll take our double-sided tape. This is Frost King. I use it for around the, the windows in the basement when I, I plastic everything off. But uh, scotch tape, you know, any kind of double-sided tape is going to work. Nothing that's really thick. So we'll go ahead and we're going to cut a width the same size of your negative. So about like that. Cut that. We're going to go ahead and you want to put it on the very end. that. I got a little overzealous, so I'm going to trim that. Push it down, push it down, and then peel the top. Okay, so that is ready to go. Let's go ahead and again accidentally rewind our roll. Okay, and you want the sticky side up Basically, you're just going to, you're going to chase your film. You're going to stick this inside there. Just paying mind because it, it is sticky, so it, it might be a little rough to get in at first. And you're going to want to push it in about, I'd say maybe an inch or so. Okay, once that's in and you want it fairly straight, or as straight as you can get it, you're going to go ahead and you're going to retract the roll. And you'll see it'll grab because it's going to start to pull your, your section of negative in. And that's what we want. Oh, I hear it. And there we go. Okay. It's not a bad idea to put a little bit of tension on the negative. Just pulling a little bit. So it kind of, kind of adds a little more pressure onto the, the film you're catching. And then basically, you just very slow pull this out. There we go. That's option number two. So let's go ahead and a third time accidentally roll this too far. Okay. And this last option will usually always get you out in, in a pinch. All you're going to do is, just like the double-sided tape, uh, you're going to lick the end of the negative. Mm. 
and then using the same method as you did with the tape, you basically slide it in there. It's going to feel a little slimy, but it's your own spit, so it shouldn't be too gross unless you had somebody else lick it for you. Okay. There we go. So those are the three different ways that you can get the film leader back out. And I just want to mention, I've tried to use the same, the same slobber filled negative uh, on different rolls and it, it doesn't seem to work. I mean, maybe that's just me, but once you wet the end of the negative, it seems a lot more effective if you to chop that end off and, and just use like a fresh section. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it guys. So if you found this video helpful, if you could do me a favor and please give it a thumbs up. And every couple days I, I come out with different videos. Some are like this, they're how-tos. Others are overviews on cameras. All are film photography related. So if that's your thing, wherever the subscribe button is, go ahead and hit that and you'll get all the latest and the greatest content. Until next time, we'll see you. Now we're going to slowly pull it back out. Let's go round two.